Hello crazy people and welcome back to my channel! You don't usually see me like this, but I'm in my car and I just finished my work. And I was like, you know what, I had my camera on because I was filming a tutorial for fashion sales. And I thought it would be a great idea if I just do a catch-up video. Like what is going on, what has happened and etc. Et I know it looked like an like oiled egg. Literally, like it's so much oil and my head is so round. I'm on my way home. I have to stop at the, this place, it's called Elos. I am moving out in two weeks, two weeks and like four days. I have to pack everything that I have. I have to purchase a few things. Um, so I need to like stop uh, because Elos is very close nearby my, uh, my office. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to stop there to just see what they have. So I am looking for a lot of things. But I see the prices on these ones. These are kind of cute. So they didn't have anything that I needed. I need to open the windows, at least the back windows, because I'm dying. It's so hot. Okay. Um, I think I have quite a lot of things. I just need to buy new plates, new um, spoons and forks. Um, I need to buy new, new um, towels and gardiner. I have no idea what is it called in English. My dictionary doesn't work, so. <sighs> but they didn't have, so. They always put new stuff all the time. I'm gonna drive very, very, very safely today because I have a very expensive camera. <clears throat> so what has happened? What is going on? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I hope you can hear me because I'm a little bit, um, I think my camera is not stable at, all, stable at all. I tried to drive very slowly here, but um, you know. And I have open windows in the back, so I really hope you can hear me. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this video, but you know, I'm just gonna try to do it because I have tried like four times, no, three times now. This is my fourth time, and I failed. I don't know, I just didn't feel like I'm supposed to post this. Anyways. What has happened? I have to be honest, I, I have noticed that a lot of YouTubers have been taking a break. Uh, I haven't heard, um, you know, Patrick Starr, he's not posting all the time, Nikki Tutorials, Nikki, Nikki the Dragon, you know, the, the people, Michelle Fawn, you know, they have been, uh, you know, consistent all the time and then suddenly, you know, COVID came and people just took a break and I don't think it's wrong. Um, but honestly, I started YouTube because I was in a very, very, very bad place in my life and YouTube was something that made me disappear from all the problems. So for me, that was also my place where I can still be creative and, you know, do what I love to do. And I, I never knew that, you know, I could earn, earn money or I can, you know, connect with people or that there are people that, you know, are real. and like you guys, the people who are watching me. I thought it were just numbers. I never thought that they actually are real people. It, it never hit me that there are actually somebody out there I'm actually helping making a prom dress, or I've just helped somebody finish their, their high school um, exam, or I don't know, whatever. And it really made me so happy when I get, you know, pictures from the finishing product that you have sent and really made me, you know, more motivated. And then, you know, being consistent on YouTube, you have to create videos like every week. And for me, making a tutorial every week, it takes one video just to create, you know, to make a pattern, to um, sew the product, to see if it works, to um, put on my makeup, film the finishing product, edit the video, film the invoice, you know, everything. It took me about four days. And I realized, you know, I'm putting so much time to this and I didn't have a lot of views, I didn't get anything, you know, nothing 
from it. Um, so I wouldn't say nothing, but it felt like nothing. And I just felt like, okay, well, nothing is worth anymore. Like, why will I continue doing this? Because it really doesn't give me anything. Um, it just takes a lot of my time. I took away, you know, time that I had with my family and friends. I, I blocked that away because I was like, I need to do a YouTube video. And my mom was like, come eat. I was like, I can't, you know. I was cons constantly working on the content and creating content. And um, it really was um, very hard because I'm doing I'm by myself, so I don't have any editor, I don't have any manager, I don't have nothing like that. I do everything by my side, uh, self. So, I don't know, I just felt like, I don't know why I'm doing all this. I just wanted to enjoy life a little bit, to enjoy my years of being young and, you know, not being consistently working and working and working. And, you know, I have, I spent eight hours every single day because I have a job and then you know I come home I work with a lot of different brands and and you know I work as an influencer and I work as a content creator and you know it's constantly trying to create content and work and, and you know educate people and trying to be professional and trying to be everything and it, it was just too much for me and I gave up I'm not a person who gives up easily, really. This was a very huge fight for me, and I feel like it really took effect of my mental health because it wasn't fun anymore. And I said to myself, I would never become an influencer or a YouTuber or a content creator, whatever it's called, if I have to do things that I don't want to do. So I know I, I know I could have been bigger influencer, I could have more followers, etc. But I don't want to be affected um, by social media in that way. I want to do what makes me happy, and that's what I did. So um, I feel now mentally because of my life situation. You know, um, my mom was very sick. My dad was very sick last year. My dad, we almost lost my dad. So I felt like. I'm, I'm giving up. I don't want to do this anymore. And um, now it has passed quite some time, and I feel like I'm getting back on track mentally. Um, imagine this girl is going to gym every single day. Me, you have no idea how much healthy food and you know gym is. It's important. It's so important. You have no idea. It really put my mind, my mindset on a different level. And I, I don't know why I never did gym before and work out or whatever. I don't know why, but this time this was, this really changed, changed my mindset because that was, that is the time where I can cleanse everything that is in here because I think I overthink everything. And um, sometimes I think too much. I can talk to somebody and I'm thinking of a design or whatever, or my next step, or what would I do? What is that? What I need to post this and how will I do it? And you know, oh, can I maybe try to do another collab with another brand or whatever? It's all the time, like 24 7. This brain doesn't take time to relax. But now I have managed to actually um, just. I managed to find a way to just run that and that is a gym and I feel so good because I feel happy I lost weight that I always wanted to lose I look the best that I have ever looked um, not right now because I'm so sweaty <laughs> um, I'm finally putting my life on track because there's a lot of things that was going on that I needed to fix before I can relax I have managed to actually travel by myself all my life I've been waiting for people and I felt like you know what you know the freedom when you know that you can do something by yourself that's the best freedom ever and I have traveled four times this year by myself I'm so proud of myself because I thought in my like if you would ask me like two years ago I would say never in my life now I think I have different mindset. I think I know what I want. I think I know what I need to do to get the things that I want. I have, I'm feeling just more free. 
and more self-confidence uh, more you know I put in my mind on my goals and I know what I want to do so you will see much more of me now I'm very tired of you know trying to look so perfect in my videos always having a lot of makeup right now if you would if I would film this video two years ago I would never do it because I will feel like oh I, I have my I have a lot of oil I'm sweating I need to have my makeup my hair looks horrible this outfit doesn't match the the car you know I'm thinking of a lot of things and now you know what no this is me I don't look perfect all the time I think I have cleansed my mind correctly this time and um, I think I'm ready to take new tasks in my life I'm really not scared of anything to be honest I'm not scared of losing anyone I'm not scared of um, doing things by myself failing um, which is the most important but also taking risks and I don't care how many people would think I'm stupid I don't care anymore I have stopped when you when you stop giving shit what other people think about you that's a different life-changing moment in your life believe it or not we have one more stop to do and that is to get a little package that I have for with um, with a new brand that I'm collaborating with so I'm super excited to get new clothing um, this is actually my favorite topic which is workwear um, but office workwear um, so yeah I'm super excited for that like I'm I'm sweating you know I should probably get wine I'm definitely going to drink wine this wine so I need to get wine I'm not good with alcohol at all like one glass of wine I'm going to bed directly but it's weekend it's Friday today and I just want a glass of wine when I'm tired when I have work done because I'm gonna edit a video now so um, super excited for that things that I need to do but yeah it's a it's a new journey I have five months until this year ends I have few goals I want to achieve and uh, I think it's gonna be awesome so you're gonna wait for me I'm just gonna go get um, do you see how much sweaty how sweaty I am no like it's water Wow okay I'm gonna go get a package I'll be right back oh God. I'm back I got white wine I don't know why I'm getting more into white. Also, when I go buy liquor, <laughs> I just buy pretty like bottles. <laughs> That's how I buy liquor. That's how good I am buying liquor. Just pretty bottles. So imagine me. Usually the worst um, drinks are actually in the pretty bottles. I, I swear to God, you're definitely going to see every single pour opening right now. So yeah. Um, this i think i don't know if i'm gonna edit this post this video um but i'm excited because i tried this before and i failed and i feel like we i had a very good talk talking to my camera right now <laughs> i really hope you enjoyed this video i really have missed you i hope you have missed me as well and i hope to see you in my next video um please comment below your thoughts ideas if you want to come with me to follow me around and see my new apartment see the new renovations see you know my office how, the, or how i'm gonna organize everything you know just comment below or just say hi i really appreciate every single comment and i'm really like answering every single comment also don't forget to follow me on instagram tiktok um pinterest you know all of my links are listed in my description box below i hope to see you in my next video and stay tuned for a crazy new journey <laughs> see you till then bye hello <laughs>